Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is time for the Morning Mindset, so I hope you are ready to join me in getting your minds aligned with the truth of God. Today, we are looking at the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 19 through 26. And we're going to be talking about something that I think is very important in our day and age, and that is the issue of confidence. Do you ever feel yourself in need of confidence? I see things on the internet all the time when I'm doing my work throughout the day where people are talking about lack of confidence and a desire to be more confident. It happens in the business world all the time. It happens in sales uh, areas of life. It also happens uh, for moms who are at home trying to raise their children, feeling that they need more confidence. It happens for dads who are trying to raise their children in a wise way, who feel they need more confidence. And it happens as those parents try to instill, quote unquote, confidence in their children. Well, today we're going to read a passage that is key for understanding where confidence comes from. Let's read together in Proverbs chapter three, verses 19 through 26. It says, the Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deeps broke open and the clouds dropped down the dew. My son, do not lose sight of these. Keep sound wisdom and discretion, and they will be life for your soul and adornment for your neck. Then you will walk on your way securely and your foot will not stumble. If you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror or of the ruin of the wicked when it comes, for the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. As in yesterday's passage, we are being encouraged to seek wisdom. And the writer, who is Solomon, is explaining to us some more of the benefits of wisdom. Let's just walk through the passage. He's saying, first off, wisdom is so important that we need to recognize wisdom is part of the way God established the heavens and the earth. When he first created things, he did it by wisdom. And so that gives us a little clue. Wisdom is a characteristic of God himself. So if we want to be like God, we need to be seeking wisdom. In verse 20, he says, by his knowledge, God set up the earthly cycles to function in the way that they do. That's what's meant by the deeps breaking open and the clouds dropping down the dew. He's talking about the way weather patterns happen. That was established through wisdom. And then he goes on in verse 21 and he says, don't lose sight of wisdom. Don't lose sight of discretion. Discretion means discernment or understanding about the nuances of situations. He says, those things will be life for your soul. And then he gives us this little picturesque phrase, an adornment for your neck. So it's like you're wearing a beautiful necklace. He's saying, that's what it's like when you wear wisdom. And when you have wisdom, you'll walk on your way securely and your foot will not stumble. So you're able to see how to walk through life wisely and carefully and circumspectly. When you lie down, you won't be afraid because you know wisdom has guarded your steps throughout that day. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet because you know wisdom has been your guide. And he's saying we should not be afraid of sudden terrors or of wickedness around us because the Lord will be our confidence and will keep our foot from being caught. Friends, safety, security, and confidence come through being close to the Lord. And wisdom is what draws us close to him. You see, the fear of the Lord, as we've already read, is the beginning of wisdom. We need wisdom. And that means we need the Lord. Friends, I want to encourage you. Continue praying, asking, seeking wisdom. Asking the Lord to give it to you. Because wisdom has so many benefits for your life, including that benefit of confidence as you go through life. Our Lord Jesus, we want to take your word seriously and we want to understand how valuable wisdom is to us. 
We want our hearts to resonate with Proverbs like this that make us aware that wisdom is available for us. We can ask you for it and you will give it. And you yourself, through wisdom, will become our confidence and will keep us on the right path. Lord, that is what we want. Please align our hearts with you in that way and align our minds with yours in that way, that our confidence is in you and you alone. Jesus, we lift these things to you and ask them because of your sacrifice on our behalf. Amen. Amen.